My name is Mike Delia. I'm 74 years old. I recently retired from a couple of careers, one in the Air Force and one in private industry. I'm quite an outdoors person. I've always been an athlete. I'm an avid skier. I might tell you the three worst words in skiing that I found out are, follow me, Grandpa. It's getting harder as I'm getting older to keep up with the children. So I do a ski training before the season from September through November. And I happen to be in the gym in one of the training classes and I noticed a lump on my upper right thigh. At first I thought I had aggravated a cyst and it was just a cyst. And I saw the doctor, uh, my physician, and he thought the same thing. But after about three months, this lump was getting very large, very fast. So obviously we knew something was wrong. When I had a biopsy taken, the biopsy showed non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. It was a surprise to me because I didn't feel bad. I skied the whole ski season. I look at it as something I can overcome. The glass has always been half full to me, not half empty. I was always convinced that I could beat this thing. I guess the first thoughts I had at the time were, let's take care of it right away. I'll be okay. Let's just get whatever therapies are out there and let's do it and let's do it fast. And we started chemotherapy in 2014. We had a second round of chemotherapy. This was in early 2015. Unfortunately, again, it came back a third time, localized again in my right leg. But now it was so localized that we could hit it with radiation. So now I got my first radiation treatment, and that also went very well. Didn't affect me much at all. I had no side effects from it. And it seemed to kill the cancer again. It came back in the winter of 2016, and by now it was rather obvious that this was a very persistent cancer. This is where I feel I got very fortunate, just lucky that my oncologist here was in communication with oncologists down in Dana-Farber Institute by Harvard, and they said I might be a candidate for this special immunotherapy, what we'll call now CAR T cell therapy. My overall experience with the whole clinical trial is the wonderful care and the work that was being done and the data that was being collected from me, uh, which I was very proud of, that would be good for the research and good for, the, for future cancer patients. I was actually happy. I was glad during the whole thing uh, to be part of it and um, in a way to give something back for all the care that I had gotten. Aside from the cancer, I was in good health and I think that really helped me come along and recover fairly soon because by the fifth day, I felt great and by the sixth day, they sent me home. And that's basically what happened from the start to the finish of this immunotherapy. We cannot take our eyes off the ball because we're at a wonderful point in time here. We've made great strides, in, as far as I can see, in the last five to 10 years. We're breaking barriers that we never thought possible before. Immunotherapy is one. So we're at a point of time now that an infusion of money and, and funding is pretty critical to move this faster. <laughs>